you guys are new to our channel, make sure you guys go subscribe and hit that bell. Make sure you do hit that bell because you will get notifications that we are uploading. And make sure you subscribe if you're new. Please do. That was like a little whisper. I know. But you okay. always whisper. I know. Alright, enough of that. Let's get to the video. So let's talk about the first trend in 2016 that everyone did that I honestly hate. Let's hear. I didn't even get to hear her list, so I'm gonna be hearing it. Maybe we. Let's talk about one. these. I hate these type of nails. I can't deal with them. They look like Freddy Cougar. I know. Like, what, what's the point of these? Tell me what. Let's let's talk about it. What are the point of these nails? I just like them. They're cute to me. Like, I just find them really like fashionable and cute. Like, what's the problem with them? I just I feel like I couldn't pick up anything. I feel like I'm like you know those claw machines like at the arcade. I feel like <laughs> that's stupid. what they are. They're little weapons. I can kill someone with them. Yeah, she stays poking me in the head with them. It hurts. So for sure, that trend must go. I hate them. Honestly, hate them. The trim won't be going away with me, so you'll be seeing these for a while. When you're time. sleeping, I'll take them off. Yeah, oh, hurt. <laughs> so the trend I think must go is the fake freckles. Guys, honestly, I love freckles. If you have natural freckles, show them off. We have them. freckles, but we do cover them with our foundation, yeah. But <laughs> the drawing on ones, they look like, what is that one movie? With the fre the girl has like the freckles all over her face and they're fake. I can't. I don't know, but you can say Chucky's son. Oh yes, <laughs> he does look like that. Looks like Chucky's son. We're gonna show you a picture right now. Since we're talking about drawing freckles on, let's talk about the draw on eyebrows. <laughs> that stuff freaks me out. It looks like this chihuahua. Sorry, I have so many pictures that look like this 2016 trend that's must stop. And I'm gonna show you guys that right now. It legit looks like someone took a sharpie and drew on their eyebrows. And sometimes they draw it so much, it looks like they have a unibrow. Like, you want to draw a unibrow on? No. Ooh, you get your eyebrows on so you don't have a unibrow. That is not cute. I understand that eyebrows are the frame of the eyes. Definitely. But come on, guys. Let's not, let's not overdo it. The next trend that, that should stop 2017 is the mom baggy jeans. The mommy jeans, basically, those that go high-waisted, it is not flattering. You look like Urkel. I'm sorry. It looks like you have bigger legs than you usually do. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I would wear those jeans if I had, like, the right body. Some people can pull them off. And if you guys have ever seen someone wearing those jeans and you're walking behind them, it makes their ass look like a long-ass day. Just be like, you have a long day? You have a long day, miss? I've actually done that to someone. I know you. That's happened to you before. And I was like, Peyton. Okay, definitely not. Shirt. Whoa. <laughs> Next trend is from our local high school and in Vegas area. Probably from your local high schools too. Kids replacing C's with B's. Like, what's Bracken? That's me. I'd be like, what's Bicken Back being a bull? I say, like, our last name's Kachi. I'll be like, my name's Bachi. Like, you're not a blood or a crip. You're not in a gang. You come from a white community. It's just a joke. It's just like, like messing around. Still, that you know, it aggravates me. You know how kids are goofy? I guess that's culture appropriation. Culture appropriation pin. I'm Can guessing. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, that trend has to go. Uh, no, it doesn't. I'm gonna stay using that. Let's keep bowling. Okay, guys. I'm all about butts in the cake. So am I. I love cake. Just, I love the twerk. You already seen that before. Oh. There has been a lot of butt injections coming with celebrities. Let's name them. Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, Nicki Minaj. Kardashian family. Allegedly, there has been some butt implants and fat injections but hey it's okay if you do a little bit but honestly if you're doing too much where your legs are so tiny like a bumblebee it does not look okay it looks like a diaper it just doesn't look good and you guys have seen this all on twitter but i'm gonna show you guys a picture of what it looks like it looks it seems like we're flaming these it's people like, but they all look good but i mean it's too much it's like all the kardashians have the butt implants watch rob get it and caitlyn jenner <laughs> <laughs> that's sad Take a look at this picture that I found in a magazine if Kylie Jenner keeps going with these alleged fat injections. What? Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. Moderation is key. We are not against plastic Straight up moderation is surgery. key. No. Honestly, I could probably do some butt injections. I'm just kidding. I'm oh, just kidding. no, you're not. You're not joking. I Watch when she's 25, so her butt's gonna be like. <laughs> Alright, no, it's definitely not. So basically, butt implants have to go. They're using so many filters nowadays, you don't know what they look like. Like, the number one Snapchat filter everyone uses is the dog one. Like, 
Let's like it's so it covers their nose. Let's take a and picture. And nose is key of a person's face too. Let's see how different we look with the dog's filter right now. And we're gonna put it on next. I don't honestly like it. Let's do it real quick. And most importantly, the yellow, yellow, yellow flowered crown. It makes everyone look so pretty and it changes with the eye color of someone. It's not that I haven't used them, but it's just so overused in 2016. It's just gotta go. I feel like they're not gonna go because Snapchat, Snapchat, everyone uses Snapchat, but hopefully they come out with better filters. The next thing that needs to go is the Bambi eyelash extensions. <laughs> They're not really called Bambi eyelash extensions. I know. They just look like it. Like, they put it too much on the sides. Like, it looks too full. It looks so fake, honestly. I had those for homecoming, and I flipped. I was like, take these off me. You don't even know the difference between extensions Yes, I do, because I remember it was thick right here, and I know what you're talking about. Pin. Swirl. Extensions are the ones that they glue on that I stay on forever. Not forever, but like a month. The other ones that you put on stay on for like a day. Those are false eyelashes. Okay, you played me. Never mind. <laughs> the next thing they overdid, for sure, 2016 trends I gotta go. Is the hundred layers. I'm yes. done seeing this on YouTube. I've seen it too much. We're gonna show you this girl that did the hundred layer tan. Is that an Oompa Loompa? Alright, I have another one. It's the overinflated lip injections. Yes, it's okay if you do a little bit of it, but if it makes it look like a fish, it does not look good. Like, hold up. Females, guys like girls that are natural. Keep yourself natural. Don't put all this plastic surgery in yourself. What are you, a guy expert? Come no, on. I'm just telling you, guys do. Sometimes it looks natural though when girls do a little bit of lip injections or a little bit of surgery. Just it looks little, natural. A but little. if you overdo it where your face just looks so tied back and your lips <laughs> like are this. just like this, and you just look like, it just doesn't look good. You don't look like a normal girl or a woman. Millie rock them out. Hey. hey. So guys, if you do want a shout out on our next video, make sure you guys send us a screenshot of your alerts on. I know I keep saying this, but make sure you guys do that. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below which trend you hate the worst. Yes, and if you guys have trends that you personally think are bad, comment that too. We like to hear. Yes. See you guys next time. Bye guys.